Join Kodo at DiscountJuicers.com to have another exciting episode for you. And what we're going to do for you guys today is we're going to demonstrate the all new Solo Star 4 juicer for you. So I was actually asked and invited to speak at the 2015 Natural Products Expo East, which took place in Baltimore, Maryland. And over 25,000 uh, people attended this industry only trade show. And I got to speak there about the benefits of juicing and using the all new Solo Star 4 juicer, which is the world's slowest and lowest RPM, that's revolutions per minute, horizontal single auger juicer. And in my tests in previous videos that you could check out online, it's actually uh, achieved the highest yield of any horizontal single auger juicer. Um, so, you know, juicing in it is good and great, but what I really want to get into besides the juicing that I'll get into a little bit in this video is actually using this other attachment here that is included when you purchase your Solo Star 4 juicer. This is known as the blank plate or the homogenizing cone. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take the juicer apart. You're going to take out the standard juicing screen and you're going to go ahead and replace it with a blank plate. And the only difference is that this has holes, this does not. So now you're going to go ahead and put that in and uh, put the end cap on and then you're going to go ahead and take off this uh, juicing end cap that has a small hole and then you could put on the homogenizing end cap that has a larger hole there. You guys see that? And you're all ready to process other things and use your Solo Star 4 as a food processor. So it will grind up things like coffee beans into coffee, you know, it'll make nuts into nut butters, make frozen sorbet out of frozen fruits, it'll make date nut candy bars out of nuts and pitted dates and that's what I'm going to show you guys in this video. In addition, this also comes with uh, the, uh, the, the end caps to extract your own pasta. So you're going to mix up like a pasta batter with the flour and the eggs and whatever else you put in there. And you can put the dough through there and then it's just going to extrude the shape for you and then you're going to go ahead and have to cook that pasta. This does not make the zucchini noodles, you know, that's a different uh, spiral slicer tool that you'll need to get to do that. In any case, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this nice presentation I gave at the Natural Products Expo East 2015. All right, hello everybody. I want to let you guys know you guys should hang out here and watch this presentation at the Tribest booth. I'll be talking about the Solo Star 4 juicer, which is more than just a juicer. It's going to allow you to eat more fruits and vegetables, which in my opinion, what natural foods is all about. But in addition to that, if you stay till the end, you guys are going to get some free stuff. So you guys are going to get some very free items. We got a Tribest uh, carrot scrubber or vegetable scrubber you're going to get for free. It's like when you go to the fair, they try to sell you these things. But even better than this carrot scrubber you're going to get for free, if you hang out for, for this whole talk that I'm going to be give, which will be just be with that about maybe 15 minutes, you're going to get a stainless steel julienne slicer. And so these, I mean, they'll sell you for like $20. This is a fine quality. And what this guy allows you to do, it allows you to take a standard carrot and uh, use a carrot. And basically, you're going to make long uh, strips out of it that are like little noodles. And if you got zucchinis, this is uh, famous in uh, raw vegan cuisine. You could use a zucchini and just very carefully just go up and down the bottom and you're going to make little long zucchini strips that you could use instead of pasta, which is a lot healthier to eat instead of uh, cooked pasta. So yes, yeah, stay to the end for that. In addition, what you guys will all want to do is uh, Tribus is giving a giveaway and this is probably one of the best giveaways at this whole place. I mean, people are giving away iPads and all this stuff. This is an over $500 value, you know, and they're going to be giving away today is the Sedona Dehydrator, Express Dehydrator. And tomorrow they're giving away a $600 juicer. You know, a juicer, in my opinion, will change your life more than an iPhone, an iPad, or any of these other gadgets. Because these are life-saving devices. Now, yes, you might be able to use your cell phone to call 911 in a life-saving emergency. Uh, but these, everybody needs to use on a daily basis because every day people are dropping dead from strokes and heart disease, uh, complications from diabetes and other things that are killing people. And the answer, in my opinion, is not any kind of supplement that's here at the show, but the answer is eating real foods. Like 
Hippocrates said, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. And really what we need to do is concentrate on the best foods on the planet. And that's what the TriVest products allow you to do. It allows you to make healthy living easy. And so the product I'll be talking about today is the all new Solo Star 4. This is a horizontal, slow speed, single auger juicer, which is the best juicer uh, to juice things like leafy greens and make vegetable juices. It runs at the lowest speed of any juicer of this kind at 58 RPMs. It also has a long 10 year warranty. So if you do the math, or no, a 15 year warranty, excuse me. If you do the math, I mean, 15 years divided by the price, it's about $300. What's that work out to be? $20 a month because this is guaranteed. You're gonna be juicing for the next 15 years guaranteed. You could invest $20 a month you know, for the next 15 years so that you could have fresh juice. If you go down and buy some of the juices in a bottle, some of the juices here might cost $5 for a bottle. You know, you buy a couple of those, you could have owned your juicer because you'll be juicing for the next 15 years. So without further ado, let me show you guys a really simple and easy juice that I like to make in the Solo Star 4. It's a green juice and most people simply do not eat enough leafy green vegetables in this day and age. Uh, the green leafy vegetables are one of the most nutrient dense vegetables on the entire planet and we need to eat not just kale but other kinds of leafy greens as well. And so this juicer really will take the kale and we're not made like a cow. We can't really digest leaves of kale because we don't have four stomachs like a cow. But what this juicer does, this amazing juicer, it takes the kale, and as you guys will see what's happening when I push the kale in there, it literally takes the kale and it crushes and squeezes out the juice from the kale. You can see the juice dripping out the bottom there. <laughs> and uh, pretty soon out of the front of the unit, you're gonna see the pulp come out. And if you think about it, our bodies are nothing more or less than juice extractors, right? We eat foods, foods go in our mouth, and they, the food residues come out us in two ways, either the liquids come out, right, the liquids, or we have the solids come out the back. So the solids come out the front here, and the solids come out the bottom, uh, the liquids come out the bottom here. So basically this is doing the digestion for you. You know, many people in this day and age have uh, challenges with digestion, maybe from eating the wrong foods, genetics, whatever. And so this is pre-breaking down the foods for you in the most assimilatable form. So when you drink a juice, literally within 15 minutes, you're getting the nutrition uptook into your body to get all the phytochemicals and phytonutrients and vitamins and minerals out of it. So we just put some kale, some cucumbers. Now for a little bit of sweetness, we're just gonna go ahead and put some apple. And uh, when juicing in any slow juicer, I do encourage you guys to uh, rotate the produce. So you, you saw that I'm not just putting in all the kale and all the cucumbers. I'm uh, rotating what I'm putting in. We'll go ahead and put some more uh, uh, kale in here. And then I wanna go ahead and follow that with some uh, celery. So, I mean, I wanna encourage you guys, you know, as much as you guys might get into like making, you know, your mean green juice every day or whatever juice, I want you always to rotate the different ingredients you're using because every different apple or cucumber, kale, it all has different phytochemicals and phytonutrients. And, you know, aside from just calories that most people are getting too many calories in this diet, too much fat and protein and all this stuff, we really need to have the phytonutrients because these are the properties that are healing for us. You know, they're anti-cancer, anti-disease, and they're life and longevity extending, in my opinion. And there's a lot of new research coming out on that all the time. I mean, this is the forefront of nutritional research, research is, you know, different plant compounds. So like in a tomato, for example, there's over 300 different plant compounds that a tomato can make in your garden, or if you're buying a tomato, hopefully it has that many compounds if grown under optimal you know conditions and it's all these unresearched plant compounds that have special you know do special things for us so we know about one of the plant compounds in the tomato which is known as lycopene but there's 299 other things besides vitamins and minerals and we don't even know what they all do yet so like i want to get all these different plant plant compounds in me for their healing abilities i mean if you think about it why are these plant compounds in the plant why does the apple get red well, it gets red to protect itself from the sun. It creates its own antioxidants in the pigments of the skin that protects the apple from the sun so it doesn't get sunburned. And if more people ate fruits and vegetables, like a lot of them, they wouldn't get sunburned easier either. And today's answer for sunburn is, you know, we're getting uh, sunburn from the sun is getting sunscreen. But we need to eat really rich, colorful, pigmented foods like carrots, you know, that will 
give us sun protection from the inside out instead of from the outside in. There's a lot of big problems with sunscreens out there, you know, being toxic and all this kind of stuff. And not to mention, you know, the sunscreens, uh, they're ruining the coral reefs, you know. So next time you put on a sunscreen, especially if it's not organic and natural, it, it's doing damage to our, to our world. And that's what a lot of the, you know, man-made foods of today is. And that's why I like to preach just, we need to eat nature's foods, God's foods, whatever you want to call it, you know, fresh fruits and vegetables. So as you guys can see, I'm really juicing easily in the Solo Star 4. It's powerful enough. It hasn't stopped once. It's uh, extracting all the juice, all the nutrition out of the produce so that I could easily get that into me. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is that this is called a slow juicer. So there's basically two main kinds of juicers. That's an oversimplification, but there's slow juicers and there's high speed juicers. So most people and most stores have high speed juicers for sale. And these juicers run at a high speed. They're very loud. They make a lot of noise and they basically will make juice and they're very quick, which is a benefit. But the con of that, because there are always pros and cons in life, the con of a high speed juicer is that it basically will reduce the amount of the phytochemicals in the juice. So in a recent study, they used a high-speed juicer, a high-speed blender, and a slow juicer. And the juice made with the slow juicer had 50% more cancer-fighting ability than the juice that was made in the high-speed juicer or in the blender. So, you know, if you want the maximum amount of protection from the nutrients in the foods, you know, I would highly suggest and encourage to use a slow-speed juicer like the Solo Star 4 juicer I'm using today. We're gonna go ahead and uh, put a few more apples in here. And uh, we'll follow it by, how about some more celery? So celery, really electrolyte rich uh, vegetable. So I mean, people might be drinking Gatorade for electrolytes, but I like to juice celery as a vegetable. And then my favorite fruit or honorary fruit for electrolytes is the coconut. So one of the things I recommend to people is like you make a juice and it's way too strong, like you put way too much kale and you don't put enough celery and cucumber and apple to kind of mellow it out. I really like to, you know, balance out my uh, vegetable juices with some coconut water. So you make something really strong, you dilute it with a bunch of coconut water, it's gonna mellow it out so you can actually handle it. Now one of the things I like to do is actually I'd like to juice the corn all with the seeds and you're like maybe thinking, wait a minute, John, the seeds in the apple, they have cyanide. And well, yes, all plants produce, you know, beneficial compounds and maybe negative compounds. And once again, the cyanide is in the seed of the apple, maybe not for our benefit, but it's for the benefit of the apple so that animals don't eat the seeds so that the apple, uh, you know, could reproduce from its seeds in the ground. So we don't want to be eating a lot of apples, but I mean, there's booths here. There's a apricot seed booth here and the apricot seed has B17, also known as Laetro. And, you know, we don't want to eat that in high amounts, but in uh, small amounts it can actually be healthy and beneficial in my opinion as are apple seeds in small amounts so I choose to juice my apples of course you guys need to do whatever you guys want to do now for those of you guys that are hanging out and for those of you guys that just walked up each one of you guys that are staying for this whole presentation are gonna get uh, you know one of these peelers to make uh, the julienne noodles normally these sell for ten dollars plus and also a carrot scrubber also I want to remind you guys to stop by and see uh, one of the people here at the tri best booth in the uh, black shirt so you can sign up for the free giveaway and actually i'm about halfway done with my presentation today uh, the last thing i want to juice for the juice is some ginger so it's very important when juicing ginger you're like oh man i bought some ginger and you put it all in the juicer don't do it <laughs> i'm just putting a little bit of ginger because a little bit of ginger goes a long long way so we're just going to go ahead and throw that in there and maybe to sweeten this up just a little bit more for you guys we're going to go ahead and uh, put some more apple in there and what I want to let you guys know is that every juicer has its pros and cons, right? Here at Tribest, they sell many different styles of juicers. They sell the horizontal single auger juicer, they sell the vertical single auger juicer, and then they sell the uh, twin gear juicer. And depending on your specific needs, one of these machines will definitely meet your needs the best. And uh, the, each, each, the one you need is going to be dependent on what specifically you want to do and what you want to juice. So if you wanted to juice a lot of leafy greens, you know, exclusively, then I would use something like this. If you wanted the highest nutrient content, you're gonna juice leafy greens plus hard veggies, then I would juice maybe, I would use the uh, Green Star Elite Juicer. So let's go ahead and uh, put in the last few apples here, including the core. And uh, this juice very easily in the Solo Star 4 juicer. Let's go ahead and uh, clean this area up. 
And now, besides just juicing, the Solo Star 4, as well as the other Tribest juices, will do more than just juice, and that's what I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys in a second. Not too much uh, pulp was actually uh, generated with the Solo Star 4. We're gonna go ahead and uh, pass this juice out to you guys here. So what we're gonna do today is gonna be really fun. We're gonna process different things. So you can make your own nut butters, you can make your own salsas, you could basically take sour uh, cabbage and crush it up to make your own sauerkraut. Uh, one of the famous things to do is a, a frozen bananas to turn that into a you know vegan uh, ice cream or 100% sorbet. And uh, we're gonna take some different ingredients here and show you guys how the Solo Star 4 can process ingredients into different you know nut butters and different products. So we have all different kinds of uh, foods here that we're gonna go ahead and process. And so first we're gonna go ahead and process something like hemp seeds that are, are really delicious and has a really good omega-3 to 6 balance. And we're gonna see what the Solo Star 4 does to the hemp seeds. We also have the flax seeds. Flax seeds are probably the best seed for omega-3s and in most people in the United States, in my opinion, are not eating enough omega-3 fatty acids. So everybody should include, you know, I would include a tablespoon of hemp seed or uh, flax seeds every day. Macadamia nuts, one of my favorite nuts. It's a high fat nut, really adds a flavor to you know, raw food sauces and dressings. We're gonna go ahead and process some whole wheat to see if it, you know, flakes it, grinds it, does whatever. And of course, uh, the roasted peanuts. So everybody loves peanut butter. And you know, if you're buying peanut butter in a, you know, uh, a jar, you never know what they're adding to it. Monodiglycerides, preservatives, but if you get whole, you know, peanuts that you roast yourself and uh, you could process those into your own fresh peanut butter with the Solo Star 4, of course, there's some dates here. Everybody loves a sweet treat, and dates are my favorite sweet treat uh, to eat instead of any kind of candy or any kind of, uh, you know, man-made sweetener. Natural fruit, dried fruits are the best. We're gonna go ahead and process the sesame seeds and see if it turns into tahini. And we're gonna go ahead and process some raw almonds and see if we can make our own nut butters. So I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and start. I guess we're gonna try the uh, the wheat berries first, whole wheat berries. We're just gonna go ahead and pour this through and we're gonna go ahead and see what happens. I've never done this before. So basically it looks like what the uh, Solo Star 4 is doing. It's uh, crushing up this up actually fairly well. It's, it's kind of like making a flour a little bit, but it's crushing it up a lot. And it's very important when you're doing this is just to feed a little bit in at a time. Maybe we'll take off this uh, end cap here and see how it comes out better. So this is running at a low and slow 57 revolutions per minute. And it's uh, trying to grind it up and it looks like we got a little blockage on the end cap there. All right, so that for some reason it wasn't working its way down the auger. We're gonna go ahead and clean this out. So yeah, if you wanna grind your grains, get a, a Tribest grain mill, <laughs> not the Solo Star 4. <laughs> That's what we learned on that. So let's go ahead and try the next ones. Next, we're gonna go ahead and try the flax seeds. Let's see how it works on the flax seeds. All right, so this is working significantly better due to some of the, you know, the fat content. Wow, the machine is so powerful that if you look at this closely, it's actually just grinding this up and it's actually uh, and causing it to congeal and stick together because what's happening is some of the oil is coming out. So it's not just making a flax meal like a coffee grinder would. It's kind of like, you know, bringing out some of the oil content so you're actually gonna get better absorption. So this is actually quite impressive. I've never seen another juicer do this. Most juicers will actually just uh, make a flax meal. So we added a little bit too quick there. We're gonna go ahead and back this up. And the reason why this Solo Star 4 can do this is because this has some of the most torque on any of the juicers. So it looks like after doing this for a period of time, 
Wow! Oh my gosh. Now, I don't recommend you guys buy one of these to do this, but if you look closely, we're really dripping out some flaxseed oil on here. Now, the machine is definitely having a hard, challenging time to do this because it's really grinding and using it, uh, you know, using all its torque to press out literally oil. So that's impressive. So yeah, this worked to extend for a little bit, but now it looks like it's kind of uh, clogging up because it's just, it's really thick and fibrous. Wow. So yeah, that's really cool. Just this, uh, woo. <laughs> all right. So that, that worked pretty well. Let's see. Uh, go ahead and take this off. And yeah, this is a dripping of uh, some flaxseed oil. So yeah, this is probably not something you'd want to do in this normally. This is actually quite warm and quite hot. All right, let's go ahead and reset this guy and we'll see what we get next. All right, now we're going to try some sesame seeds. Let's see how that works. All right, so this is uh, working pretty good. As you guys can see, it's not backing up the machine and it's coming out pretty much ground up, kind of like a halva uh, candy. So if you maybe combine this with some honey, you'd have a really delicious treat. Not quite a tahini, but the thing you could do is actually you could take the output, what the Solo Star 4 is putting out, and actually you could just run it back through the machine a second time. And then basically what's gonna happen, it's gonna grind it up further uh, to make more of a butter-like consistency. So this looks like it's actually working quite well. So what did we learn about the other ones? So we learned that, you know, we, we don't want to really try flax seeds. It grinds so effectively that it makes oil, and then because it breaks it down so much, it clogs it up. And then on the wheat, it really didn't have enough oil content to move through properly. So the sesame seeds have enough oil content actually to stick together quite well. This is probably one of the best juicers I've seen it actually makes this more of a butter the first time through instead of just grinding it into a flour because it grinds so fine. And that's why also, in my opinion, this machine works so well as a juicer to juice vegetables and gets a high yield. So that's really cool to know that. Sesame seeds worked really exceptionally well in my opinion. Next, let's go ahead and try the almonds, which is a favorite for uh, many people to see if we can make some almond butter. Once again, we're just taking the whole almonds, uh, raw almonds, and running them through the machine. So we got some of the extra sesame seed uh, coming out, and now finally we're putting through the almonds, and it's very important to uh, you know put a little bit into time. I'm having to stop it and reverse it and uh, have it go forward to uh, process these. So now this is grinding the almonds. And so once again, we're gonna go ahead and pour just a little bit in at a time and let it work through it. So as you guys can see, uh, you know, instead of making an almond meal like other slow juicers would, this is actually uh, grinding it up. And then this is not quite a butter. If you want a butter consistency, you could actually add some like almond oil or coconut oil and mix it in there. Then it would be more of a butter consistency. So this is working quite well. So what I want to do now is that once again, you know, if you want it, uh, you know, more like a butter without adding the oil, you could actually just take this and run it back through the machine a second time. And you could even go a third time, a fourth time to grind it up even more. Now, because the machine's already done the hard work and grinding up the nuts and fractionating them, it's coming, it's working itself through and it's coming through a lot easier now and literally it's self-feeding. So this is actually working quite well to make your own nut butters at home with the Solo Star 4 juicer. All right, so that's the almonds. We turn into a butter consistency. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and use some, let's try the hemp seeds and see if we can make our own hemp butter. So, I mean, the amazing thing is here at the Health Food Trade Show, you could go buy hemp butter, you could go buy almond butter, you could go buy peanut butter, but I really want to encourage you guys to make your own foods at home. So if you want to make hemp butter, you know, get hemp seeds whole and process them yourself. If you want a juice, instead of buying a bottled juice, you know, buy the vegetables or better yet, grow the vegetables and juice them yourself. 
And so that's what the TriBest products allow you to do. They allow you to process your own food so you exactly know what's going in it. When you buy a, a thing of peanut butter, you know, you're reading the ingredients and hopefully that's everything in there, but you don't know exactly what, in, what went in there, how it was made, the temperature was made. You know, doing it in the Solo Star 4 juicer, you know, you could ensure this is being done at a low temperature to maximize the nutrition and you know exactly what's going in there. I'm pour, pouring 100% organic hemp seeds in here to make my own hemp seed uh, butter here. As you guys can see, it's coming out. Not quite the butter, but these hemp seeds are totally broken down. So that's quite impressive. This is probably work, this is working the best out of any, anything we've tried so far. And definitely want to encourage you guys to eat more nuts and seeds, right? They're some of the best foods on the planet, in my opinion. I like to eat about a handful of nuts or seeds a day. So what I want to do next, actually, I want to go ahead and take this uh, these processed hemp seeds and pour it back through to see if we can get it more into a butter consistency. Once again, once we put the uh, processed product through again, it's just gonna grind it up further, extract more oils, and hopefully it'll congeal and stick together better, and then come out. This can be used to spread on salads, on toasts, whatever you would use the nut butter for. So that worked really well. The next is probably one of my favorite nuts in the world. It's the uh, macadamia nuts. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, move this out of the way and we're gonna try the whole macadamia nuts. Now macadamia nuts, because they contain such a high oil content, one of the highest oil content nuts uh, here, I guess the, probably the top nut that has the highest oil content are peely nuts. They're like 96% fat, but macadamia nuts are really high in fat also. So this, we, if we get enough oil coming out, it'll make it more of a butter consistency. So that's why I like the macadamia nuts. Plus they have a more favorable omega-6 to omega-3 balance than say the almonds, which have way too many omega-6s in my opinion. So as you guys can see, we're making our own fresh macadamia nut butter. It's very hard to find macadamia nut butter unless you're in Hawaii, but you can make yourself at home in the Solo Star 4. Really nice consistency here. Really smooth, hardly any particulate, and it, macadamia nuts are a lot softer than almonds, so it's working very, very easily. If you want to make your nut butter even better, what I recommend you guys do is you guys add a sweetener, so you can make your own uh, fruit and nut treats, and we're going to do that simply by adding dates. So we're going to go ahead and add like a date, and we're going to add a nut, <clears throat> a date, a couple nuts, a date, a couple nuts. So this is great if you got kids to get them involved in making some of their own delicious fruit and nut treats. So instead of buying, you know, a fruit and nut candy bar like they have here, you could make your own at home and this is the best way to do it. I always want to encourage you guys to make your own foods at home. And so now simply the Solo Star 4 is grinding up the fruit and nuts to make your own Laura bars. Wow, and it's doing it so well that I'm looking here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but some of the oil is being extracted out of the macadamia nuts. So this is quite impressive. This is probably the most powerful uh, grinder that I've tested to date that does the best for grinding. So that works pretty well, and uh, I love eating this stuff. So the last thing I want to do today before I finish is make a peanut butter. Now... Usually the peanuts work the best in the machines because the peanuts have been roasted so they have a high oil content. So we're going to go ahead and uh, turn the machine on and just, this is 100% roasted peanuts, make our own peanut butter, let's see how that comes out. So this machine is literally grinding the peanuts Kind of like those machines when you go to the health food store, you could, you know, put your container underneath and get your own peanut butter. That's what this machine is doing right here. Grinding the peanuts up into peanut butter. So there, there's a peanut butter made in the TriBest Solo Star 4 juicer. So the Solo Star 4 juicer is more than just a juicer. It'll also allow you to process other foods into nut butters to make your own treats, as well as make your own juice so that you guys could be healthier in the end and process your own food so you know exactly what it what went into it instead of buying prepared and packaged foods 
here at the trade show. So yeah, check out Tribass to learn more about them at the booth. And be sure before you leave to pick up your free uh, noodle maker, Julian Slicer, and peeler since you stayed for my talk. And of course, be sure to sign up to win the giveaway. They're giving away a $500 value uh, Sedona dehydrator, and tomorrow they'll give an, be giving away a $600 juicer here at the Tribest booth. So what did you guys think about the presentation I gave at the Natural Products Expo East? Did you like it? Hey, if so, hey, give me a thumbs up to let me know. I'll be sure to film my upcoming presentations at different trade shows and different events that I speak at and upload them for you guys so those of you guys that didn't make it always get to enjoy my videos and learn from my videos more importantly and you know one of the cool things about this presentation is that I processed all the different nuts and seeds and everything I did um, you know in the Solo Star 4 for the first time and some didn't work well but I show that to you guys because you know it's very important for me to be transparent and show you guys the capability of the machines also is very important for me to learn the capabilities of the machines as well you know that's why I consider myself a juicing and juicer expert because I play with these machines, I throw things at it that people might not normally do, and so that I could find out how the machines work intimately and then be able to share that with you guys so that you guys could make the best juicer purchase. You know, and that's my whole job is to know all the juicers and fit you with the right juicer like a shoe salesman in the olden days would fit you with the right shoe. Because my job is I want to get you guys a juicer that's going to work best for you, you know, meet the criteria you have, whether that's a long warranty, easy to clean, high nutrient quality, juices wheatgrass well, or juices carrots well, or juices oranges well, or pomegranates well, whatever you want to juice. Trust me, I I've probably tested juicing <laughs> that produce item in most any juicer. I've even juiced things that you're not supposed to juice. So that I know, and you know, if you choose to support a big box store, or other stores, you know, uh, they don't allow me to continue my work. The only way you could allow me to continue my work is if you make a purchase and support me, uh, you know, by making your purchase at discountjuicers.com so I can continue to make these videos for you guys, to educate you guys. And also, you know, if you guys need assistant, please, assistance selecting a juicer, please feel free to email me personally, sales at discountjuicers.com. With your specific needs, the produce you'll be juicing, the percentages of the different types of produce you'll be juicing, and you know some of the criteria that's important for you in a juicer, and I'll give you my personalized recommendation on the juicer that's best gonna meet your needs. Because you know as much as I like the TriBest products, they make awesome products, there's many other juicer companies out there that make some good products as well You know, in the right situation. So I really hope you guys enjoy this presentation. Uh, once again, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for YouTube visitors. DiscountJuicers.com to be another exciting episode for you coming at you from my backyard garden. And yes, this is a nice large cucumber hanging next to me.